Rocket League has come a long way since 2015, but for whatever reason, half-loop tutorials definitely have not. So today, I'm going to be breaking down everything you need to know about the two major ways to half flip, as well as the less common, secret, if you will, quarter flip mechanic. But since this is a tutorial video and a lot of you are going to be coming from search, if you're new here, consider subbing. Only a very small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subbed. And remember guys, subbing is totally free and you can always unsub whenever you want. Also, my new private coaching program just opened up our doors to accept applications for our massive season two launch. Once again, I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. For now, here is everything you need to know to learn half flips as fast as possible. All right, guys, first things first, we're going to cover the two major ways to do a half flip. And trust me, you'll know in a second why it's really, really important. You can do not just one, but both. Okay, so starting from the top, the first way to half flip is going to be what I'm going to call the perfect half flip. The perfect half flip is a simple, straight backwards flip cancel. First, to execute a perfect half flip, what you want to do is start by back flipping straight backwards. Then, step two, when the nose of your car is facing backwards and your car is level with the ground about halfway through the flip, you're going to pull up on your joystick to cancel your flip. This is a simple flip cancel and all it's going to do is stop your car from completing the second half of the spin. Step three, all you have to do is hold air roll left or air roll right in order to get your wheels facing the ground and you're off. So that's the perfect half flip. What is it good for? Well, the perfect half flip is good for turning directly around, which leads me into my second point. Let's talk about what I like to call the short half flip or short flip for short. So moving on to the second type of half flip, we're going to talk about the short flip. So if the perfect half flip turns you a true 180 degrees straight back around, what a short half flip does is it turns you just a little bit less than that, something like 160 degrees or 170 degrees. How do we do this? Well, the step-by-step -step of the short half flip is going to look just like the perfect half flip, except we won't need to use the arrow at the end. So really, it's only two steps long. To do it, step one, you're going to want to initiate a backflip, but you want it to be slightly off center. If you initiate that first dodge slightly off center, and then step two, flip cancel straight vertically again, your car is automatically going to do this rolling over, and you won't actually need to air roll other than maybe a minor, minor, minor correction at the very end. So if you do a short half flip right, it's really only two steps with maybe a little air roll at the end. As you can see, both types of half flips accomplish almost the same thing, so the question becomes, which one should you use? To answer that question, what we're gonna have to do is pivot a little bit and talk about dead zone settings. If you want more info on dead zone settings, definitely check out my dead zone settings guide, but for the purpose of this video, all you have to understand is one important controller setting called controller dead zone. What this controls is how sensitive your joystick is to changes in inputs. For example, if you have a high dead zone, anything close to a backflip, if you push down in your joystick and it's even a little bit off center, the game is still going to register it as a perfect backflip. Whereas if you have a super, super low controller dead zone, and if your joystick is just the most minute distance off center, the game is going to catch that difference. But if you see where I'm going here, the catch is this. If you have a high dead zone, you can't actually do the short flip, right? Because if your dead zone is super, super high, the game is going to take your first dodge and just convert it to a perfect half flip, which means in practice, for those of us with very high dead zones, anything above 0 0.15, 0 0.20, anything in that range, you actually will not be able to do the short half flip consistently. So if you're in that club and you're playing with a super high dead zone, then you have to do the perfect half flip. It's super simple for you. You can't do the short flip. 
If, however, you have followed my dead zone settings tutorial and your dead zone is now in between the 0.05 to 0.10 range, you will have the option for which half lift you want to use based on the situation. By default, I go for the perfect half lift. It's just the most reliable type of half lift. And on top of that, understanding how to control your flip cancels really, really well with the perfect half lift is going to become useful in later mechanics. Let's dive into the weeds a little bit here in the last two minutes because I have some really, really useful stuff I want to share with you. Look, when you're doing the short half flip, the direction your car faces at the end is fully based on where you send your first dodge. So if you dodge nearly perfectly back into the center, you're gonna land with your car almost facing perfectly backwards. But if instead you initiate that first dodge more towards the side than you do backwards, let's say, then your car is going to end up facing more sideways than it will backwards. Now you understand the idea of the quarter flip. All a quarter flip is, is a super short half flip. So whereas a perfect half flip turns you 180 degrees, if you initiate a backwards diagonal dodge, then you can half flip backwards, cancel up on your joystick, and land almost 90 degrees from where you started. Now you are set because you'll be able to turn your car around anywhere in between 90 degrees and 180 degrees on command. Trust me guys, this is gonna be so, so huge in improving your recoveries and speed in game. If you stayed to this point in the video, I wanna give you a little bit of a bonus and talk about a new half flip trick that I learned when I made my curve dash video. So if you have the other types of half flips down to execute the half flip shuffle, what you wanna do is this. First, follow through with all the steps of a perfect half flip. But the only modification you're going to make is when you do that flip cancel, wait just a little bit longer so that way the front wheels of your car are facing more downwards than the back wheels once you've initiated the cancel. From there, you're going to air roll over so that way the front wheels of your car are in a little bit more of a downward position when it's landing. Then, when the front wheels have fully sunk into the ground and your car has landed, you're going to want to instantly click jump to kick the front wheels of your car up and then wave dash down for a shuffle. This is not a new mechanic, but incorporating it with half flips is something that I just don't see people do. So pay attention to my controller overlay here, watch what I'm doing, and see if you can replicate this for yourself, because one day I'm sure it will become meta. Anyways, I know that was a lot for a tutorial that other people make in three minutes, but sorry guys, that's just me. I had to go into the weeds, so I really, really do hope this was helpful. Also, like I mentioned at the start of the video, my new live coaching program is currently accepting applications for our season two launch. Now, if you're interested in hearing more about my private coaching program or getting coached by me directly, then I just dropped a new free video training that gives a lot more info on the program, and it's going to be the first link down in the description below. So if you're serious about taking your Rocket League gameplay to the next level, I highly, highly recommend you go check out that link. It's totally free. And if you're interested, you can book a free interview session with a previous member of the program to figure out if it might be the right fit for you. But hey, we're at the end of the video again, and for some reason, I still don't have my own video outro. I swear, I just freestyle it at the end of every time I record these scripts. Uh, so, like if you liked the video, sub if you haven't already. Uh, but hey, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all the support, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.